I found this guy. I was like, wow, I didn't even know you were in here. I put a little tray underneath it because it's sitting in some pretty damp soil here. But thank you, Lord. Oh, look. Look, I didn't know this was in here either. Look. All I have near is I have not provided. I love coming out here in the early morning, checking on my garden and seeing what is new. Last night, I discovered something that got me so excited. It's a first time for me. A couple of days ago, I was contemplating pulling up this watermelon vine. It's been in there several months now, and I discovered this little guy in here, and there's another one growing right here. It's okay. I'm going to see if this makes it. And as I was parting the leaves, I found this guy. I was like, wow, I didn't even know you were in here. I put a little tray underneath it because it's sitting in some pretty damp soil here. But thank you, Lord. Oh, look, look, I didn't know this was in here either. Look. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you, Lord. That's a gr great gift. I'm so thankful. And then I looked over here at the pumpkins, and I was saying, why aren't these pumpkins making any pumpkins? Look. There we go. <laughs> There's one. Oh, look. I didn't even know this was here. Look at there. <laughs> these are Seminole pumpkins. And in years past, I've gotten so many pumpkins, and they last for so long, like months after you pick them. But last year, I got three all year long, just three. And I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> so, wow, I'm getting pumpkins and watermelons, and it's the end of June. I'm so excited about this. And then this other experiment I have here. Is cow peas that I just I I took some seeds from a place. I'm not going to tell you where I got them. I said I'm going to try that, and lo and behold, they're making peas down in there. But I didn't know they were already making peas before I put this netting on. And unfortunately, there are a couple of uh, stink bugs on the inside. So I'm going to see. I can find them and squish them. And this is what's left of my zipper peas. And I've gotten quite a few from them. And I learned some things too this year. You can't just drape this uh, netting over the top. The vines don't do well unless they can shoot their uh, stems up and grow the peas on top. They don't like to be laying on the ground. And you see this one right here? Since that is right next to the netting, stink bugs will sting them right through the netting. So I've been fishing them up through the bottom of the tomato cages. So I did recently order more tomato cages for this very purpose so I can keep peas out of the way of the stink bugs away from the netting. The other experiment I'm doing this year, I'm growing field corn. So far, so good, but I'm going to be fertilizing them with fish emulsion and also weed water this morning. They're growing fast, and I want to make sure that they're getting plenty of nutrients. Sweet potatoes here. You know what? <laughs> I've heard that the mulch invites the uh, slugs. I'm not finding any slugs here, and it's all mulch. And this is my okra. I'm going to do a separate video about what's going on with my okra. Do you see here? One row, 
is beautiful right next to it not so beautiful so there's some more seminal pumpkin growing they're not even blooming yet so i don't know if i'll get pumpkins from them pineapple sweet potatoes more sweet potatoes that are coming along quite nicely i think the peanuts might be ready to pull and i planted more peanuts in that bed right here and also some peas for a cover, cover crop. My experiment here with mustard, I'm just going to let them grow wild. Mustard over here in amongst the <laughs> watermelon and the Seminole pumpkins. Peas, one bed did great, the next bed not so much. Thinking it might be mole crickets or possibly that I buried them too deep. So I'm going to replant those today. Slugs. I've tried everything. Beer traps. Yeast concoctions. Essential oil concoctions. I've even used slug bait. And it doesn't work. This is the only thing that works. But the benefit is you get to go through your garden in the early morning. Listen to the roosters crowing. Enjoy the stillness of the morning. Keeping a garden journal is one of the best things you can do for your garden. If you're like me, you forget what you did from year to year. Here's how you can get one and it's very budget friendly. Two.